Another Russian radio came in the mail today. And it's kind of timely, kind of interesting timing. Um, I threw a battery in it and it seems to work fairly well. I, I don't understand this display at all. It looks like it goes from 200 kilohertz to 2 megahertz, but it doesn't seem to do that. So let's just turn it on and have a listen. driver assistant. They always yeah, said it. Yeah. That's over and over again. Yeah, the pillowcase rapist, right? Yeah, 40 right. rapes. Oh, no. What was the eat on? Patty, speak a penis. Oh, does he talk a little trash? I laugh <laughs> more than the average human. Is he a friend? Uh, next. Mike. The Glenn Beck Program. Blaze Radio Network. Off he goes. There he goes. He gave that 40 seconds. Reagan spoke to the nation for 20 minutes, 40 seconds, and uh, people are getting angry about this. They're getting angry about how Obama conducts himself. They're getting angry about how disconnected he is from reality, how selfish. Here at KNX, all news, all the time. Southern California's only all news radio station. News Talk, 7 o'clock. CBS News, I'm Bill Whitney. What brought down Malaysia Airlines Flight 17? Correspondent David Martin reports U.S. intelligence believes it was hit over eastern Ukraine by a surface-to-air missile. There's evidence of a mid-air explosion simply because the debris was scattered over a large area. But on top of that, U.S. intelligence was able to detect the missile in flight and also a radar that was tracking the airliner and you add those three together and it comes up with a pretty convincing case that this was a shoot down. Ukraine security chief Valentin Nalgachenko claims to have evidence the missile was fired by Russian supported separatists. The Ukrainian government will continue to investigate this criminal case, not terrorist criminal case, which was conducted by those to GRU officers of Russia. More from White House correspondent Major Garrett. What the president said tonight after a phone call with Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko is that both presidents believe and are urging that that crash site remain as is, that all evidence remain intact, and that it... As 66,000 troops are involved in the ground attack that began nearly seven hours ago, a nighttime assault... So is Korean Airlines jumbo jet. It's possible that people on both sides of the border, Russia and Ukraine, were thinking this was not a passenger plane, but thinking it was a military plane. The UN Security Council... Seems to work really, really, really well. It's got a really nice leather case. But I, I don't understand this band thing. You can see it's acting like that's the bottom of the AM band and that's the top, so I don't know. Let's um, have a look at the inside. Have a look at the back. This one is kind of the same as the other one, but a little bit different. We have a nice bar antenna. I like the way that's wound around there. And we have some trimmer caps. Instead of the trimmer caps being on, uh, on the back of the, the thing like they are in uh, Japanese and American. This is a really nice high quality um, volume power switch. Look at that thing. And it's got some pretty cool transistors in it. Look at that package right there.
little spaceship transistors. I believe these are the caps, these are the electrolytics, they look like germ our germanium transistors, there's one right there. Of course these are the transistors right here. I really like the quality of these things. I'm really uh, impressed with how they just kind of turn on and work. have told Fox, you can't just show up and shoot these missiles. You have to be trained. That it's a complicated process. So the speculation is, and it's speculation, these missiles or this missile site, or these trucks with these missiles, uh, in this particular area controlled by the pro-Russian separatists. There's been an extensive